वेलकम टू चरंडेश्वर टिल हियर अ मोटरेबल रोड इज अवेलेबल फ्रॉम सतारा सिटी दैट इज द डिस्ट्रिक्ट प्लेस इन महाराष्ट्र फ्रॉम हियर यू हैव टू क्लाइम नियरली 400 हंड्रेड मीटर हाइट यू हैव टू गेन हियर बाय स्टेप्स यू कैन गो एंड जर्नी इज व्हेरी प्लीजंट थ्रू दिस डेन्स फॉरेस्ट वी हैव टू गो वी हैव टू अचीव दिस टॉप वेर यू आर एबल टू ऑब्जर्व सम ट्रीज एट टॉप फ्रॉम दैट ओनली देर इज अ टेम्पल नाउ हियर इन्फॉर्मेटिव बोर्ड्स दे आर देअर रिगार्डिंग द फॉरेस्ट वरायटी ऑफ बर्ड्स एनिमल्स फ्लॉवरिंग ट्रीज एंड बटरफ्लाइज they are observed here and uh, journey is very very pleasant but you have to carry out water because from here onwards till the top will not get any source of water and uh, we have to carry out that water journey is very nice from here we are starting our journey a sort of decorative pieces we can observe along with that the information of that place that is given in the language marathi so here those who are able to follow this can read this is another gate where it is written as shri jarandeshwar prasanna and shri ram jay ram jay jay ram basically the temple is constructed under influence of the great saint samartha ramdas swami now whatever the animals we can observe here birds we can observe here they are listed this is the great work carried out by forest department here various boards are placed giving information of birds they can be observed here the boards are there in Uh, marathi as well as english language so when you are climbing out you will enjoy these boards and if these boards are observed then you will really enjoy but throughout the journey we can hear the noise of birds fantastic uh, smells you can enjoy because uh, many flowering trees are also planted here from here we are observing another fort a distant fort this is fort vardhangarh this is all plateau of deccan uh, close to western ghat but eastern side of western ghat we are visiting this place in month of september uh, therefore atmosphere is cloudy september 2023 already uh, entire august month there is no rainfall supposed to be there very good rainfall in august also uh, already june went dry so only july's rainfall that is there we can climb through these steps and then uh, time to time there is provision for sitting also that is also available but journey is very good because we are traveling through this uh, trees we can enjoy nature meanwhile it is not necessary that we have to climb throughout so we can sit here we can enjoy the atmosphere we can enjoy the nature photography all these things we can do because time required to climb here is hardly 2 hours for me but uh, if you are fast walker then can climb in 30 minutes also but we are not climbing in straight way we are going to get rest for a while our professor dinesh kolge he is enjoying the nature full uh, benches are there information of birds and you are there in the forest and very good wind because it is in month of september we are able to enjoy no doubt after end of 
staircase uh, steps now we have to travel through this type of road so this is uh, not that difficult but not that easy also because we have to climb now i am walking from sideway not through the rocky part but ultimately you have to cross this rocky part and uh, nearly 25% end portion that we have to walk like this from here distant hills they are called as mahadev hill range so we are observing this distant hills now uh, we are observing this surrounding area and this much we have to climb there are basically two levels the first level uh, we have to climb a small plateau like region is there uh, but it is very very narrow and then we have to climb the second level of this hill so we are now enjoying to walk through this all region uh, in the forest these beautiful flowers are observed throughout the sahyadri that is western ghat and surrounding region fantastic flowers are observed here uh, then we are observing here lichen that is symbiotic example of fungus and algae so this is called as lichen which is growing on the stone and uh, fungus is absorbing water from uh, moisture or say from air and uh, algae part is carrying out photosynthesis another miracle we observe here that is the line of silica or quartz you can check out here uh, i am not expert in geology but geologist can definitely tell about this uh, this line is hidden inside the soil hope if you are going to excavate it then it can be big line or big part of rock that is having pure silica that can be checked here this is while climbing this uh, jarandeshwar we observe and for that purpose i am continuing recording of surrounding region also we have covered the plateau level 1 from there we started to climb this plateau number 2 so this is just level 1 i am showing here this is not much broad and now a temple it is said that this temple is of bali raja so a small but very beautiful temple is observed here very good idol is observed here from here we can observe distant hills wind activity is tremendous where we can observe this uh, basin of river krishna and now we are observing satara city behind that there is fort that is called as ajinkya tara fort all these things we can able to observe from this place now as it is september month and uh, this is re arrival of monsoon here this is september 23 so re arrival of monsoon we are observing we are enjoying at certain places we are able to observe sunlight direct sunlight whereas right now here rainfall is there see this is kanher dam on venna lake we can observe a peak that is called as shiva peteshwar then we are observing this is the satara city once upon time capital of maratha empire behind that there is a fort that is called as fort ajinkya tara all these things we can observe now we are heading towards plateau number 2 and this is the height we have to cover there is a flag that is our sacred saffron flag
this is the temple just we have to move from that saffron flag a very good temple now just imagine uh, the way they have constructed temple at hilltop because no transportation road transport is available this temple is constructed somewhere in 17th century and uh, some modifications are also there uh, birds are also trying their nest over there this is the main hall of temple it is nicely decorated fantastic paintings and various other images of god we can able to see saints in maharashtra they are also painted here our lord shiva and variety of paintings so many people have donated for this temple and its uh, paintings uh, they borrow the name of the donor also but this is very nice place very beautiful place to observe lord siddhi vinayak that is lord ganesh that is there sri gurudev dat and like that various uh, this is vithal rukmini images of various saints are painted lord shiva that is shiva linga is observed here a beautiful place various paintings of ramayana samarth ramdas swami this is the picture of samarth ramdas swami his inspiration is there behind constructing this temple at this place various saints in maharashtra they are painted over here this is charandeshwar hanuman temple you can see the beautiful ark here they have printed that is called as maruti stotra written by samarth ramdas swami after observing this painting now we are focusing again on the main part of temple here is the lord hanuman veer hanuman image here this is the first hanuman temple constructed under influence of samarth ramdas swami out of his famous 11 hanuman temple they are scattered in western maharashtra particularly in satara sangli and kolhapur district of maharashtra now we are encircling this hanuman temple ancient constructions are also there what you are observing that is lord ram temple here but prior to entry to that we have to show here a place here also idol of lord hanuman is there this is the temple inside which we were there beautifully painted temple but originally made up of stones now it is painted with oil paint another image of lord hanuman and now we are entering in the sri ram temple just behind that a beautiful ganesh is there at top image of lord ganesh whereas we are now observing a thing this is called as kruti mukha now we are entering in the temple again nicely decorated temple we can enjoy the bell sound also
now we are encircling this sri rama temple we are at top of the hill so tremendous wind activity is there various old houses are there around that we are just walking just imagine at such great height this uh, may be possible stones can be obtained from this place but what about rest of the material so that uh, say for example this ladder idols or whatever the other things required they have carried out from bottom only and even food for so many uh, people here those who are working for making this temple this is beautifully artwork we can check out on the temple and then huge premises that is there almost all the hill top that is used for temple and surrounding region only so we are there completing out encircling this temple now we are just going to the front portion of this temple some idols are there what we are going this uh, to describe afterwards first we are making encircling the temple that is called as pradakshina shri jarandeshwar prasanna birds have made these mud houses here they are staying here this is a fort called as kalyangarh where jain cave uh, of their great prophet parshwanath ji that is there then these are chandan and vandan two great forts in maratha empire this is all volcanic region this is called as shield region or deccan plateau where we are observing various forts now we are observing here distant dam this is kanher dam on venna river and again we are focusing towards satara this is the entrance of temple now we are going to back side of temple now where a small cave is there actually here some different structure might be there but it is now demolished or destroyed this is the place where saint ramdas used to sit for meditation variety of flowers are observed here see the beautiful small flowers having bluish purple color a fantastic uh, flower set that is uh, we are calling as wild flowers actually but uh, in fluorescence we are able to observe we can check out bird noise also we are there in the nature and now we are observing another branch of same tree i'm trying to get closer view of this flower now we are going here to the back side of this plateau where there is a well another well total two wells are there out of that uh, this well we are going to observe uh, well is well constructed you can see it's rectangle or square shape well constructed by stones we can get down inside this well steps are there to get down and 
there is water but the most important thing here we are going to show that once upon time there was a hidden path through the well you can check out the wall at top and now what i am focusing here the newly constructed wall you can observe the cementing material is there there was actually a tunnel or a secret path was there uh, especially when very good rainfall is there at that time this path is under the water and somebody want to escape can jump those who are aware they were able to jump and go through the tunnel inside but we don't know where this path goes now this is again i am showing you variety of lichens observed here on the stones multiple stones are placed here and lichens are observed here also some different variety i am not a botanist so i am not able to place uh, tell exactly which variety and what but you can check out these all things fantastic lichens are observed we are going back to temple once again now here uh, in marathi language they have mentioned the rules about how to lift these boulders a single man can lift this with technique obviously and uh, this is a mill to make limestone cementing material some of the sage uh, this idol is placed here i don't know the name of this sage these are all ancient vessels here in devanagari script it is mentioned that shake 1789 that is uh, we are calling shalivahan shok era we have to add 78 years so we are getting common era or christian era so these are huge vessels here uh, this is all when uh, pilgrimages are arriving for them uh, the food or rather we are calling as prasad that is served that is prepared through this uh, huge vessels they are made up of brass some of the vessels are made up of uh, copper some are made up of brass and like that things are there these are all surrounding houses of the temple now enjoy the sound of bell automatically ringing part 